Hello beautiful soul. In this video I want to give you an update on the art supplies that I use for painting my drums. So you can also paint your own drum. And yeah, I think it's like three years after my last tutorial. It's time to update. So we have all this stuff here. You might not need all of this, but what you will need is the uh, Remo Buffalo drum. Here I have one. I already covered the logo, but here you can still see it a little bit. So you will need this drum. On my website I have links where you can buy these things or you can just Google it. Um, so you will need a drum. This is a 16 inch one. And these are the markers that I use. They're called Moloto One For All Acrylic Markers. And at the moment I use these two. So this is the acrylic 127HS, which is the smaller nib. And this 227 hs is the bigger nip so here you see two millimeters and four millimeters and here i have replacement nips because they do tend to wear out but if you only do one drum you might not need a replacement then um, for the creating the template you just need paper then this paper is like a smear protection so whenever you work on the drum don't touch any painted areas, always use a paper so you don't smear or damage your paint, especially for the gold and the metallic, so gold and silver metallic tones. So you'll need, um, for drawing the template, a piece of paper and pencil, a razor, I love the boxy, the boxy, they're really good, a razor, but you know, anything will do. Then um, depending on what you're doing, you might need some of those, you know, a ruler. It's just a long ruler, and this one has, um, it has these lines, which helps you navigate, you know, because you can align them. Then we have this here, very useful, and these protractors. I just found them just very recently when I did a course on mandala drawing. So any any one is fine, but it helps you to create these, um, yeah, these mandala. Um, I don't know what the, the word is, but it's, so everything is just nicely measured. And what else? Compass. This is this is one actually from my school times. It's uh, Faber-Castell. It's not not fancy, but does the job. And this is a more fancy one, a Stedler one. And I also have an extension arm for this one. So you can make really big circles with this. Though I would advise um, to get the fully metal version. This is a plastic metal version, so I would not get this one, but the better quality, because it will be more accurate. And here you can screw in this extension, and then you can have a, a uh, marker in here, but only, only those thinner ones. The one millimeter and the two millimeter will go in there. This will not, will not go in here. So for this one, this goes into this Copic um, clip-on compass that I, I just got this a few days ago because I do more mandala works. So you just clip, clip this thing here, clip, clip, oops, <laughs> and you tighten it here with a screw. It's very, very nice. And the, uh, yeah, I'm also going to buy an extension so you can make bigger, yeah, bigger circles because this is not very big. If you put this on a drum, it will not go to the edge where I want it. So that's on the way. This is very useful. These are stencils to help me make the moons. And um, anything will do. You could also make the circles with these, but this is just easier. What else? We have, we have washi tape. And here I have the MT washi tape. This is what I use to... Um, to put the template on on the drum and also to mask these corners so if I do this freehand it will not be exact if I put this then it will be a perfect line um, um, yeah this is for drying layers so you can use a hair dryer to just dry different paint layers this is the varnish that I use Moloto UV varnish 
and this is the matte version. I don't know why it says that one. But yeah, this is the what you need to see. Yeah. Um then what I do here is um since there's a logo, a Remo logo, I cover this with black. And then I add this little protector because I don't want the spray on here because I like the, the wooden feel of this. So I just slide this in here and this I can use for years. So I kind of made this and it, it lasts. And here I have this little thing I slide over. Um, it's a bit tricky with one hand, but yeah, you can get, get the, the idea. So this is just so I'm not getting paint on the mallet. You can use whatever you want, just so it's only spraying this area after you add the codes, or maybe you're not adding codes, maybe you're just painting it. And this is the paint I use, Schminke, um, Lampenschwarz, or what is it called? Um, yeah, it's just black, you know, any, any good acrylic paint will do. And a brush to do that. Okay, so what did we leave out? Um, this is just a little, a little piece of cardboard. So the first time when I use the markers, I shake them because I have a little ball uh, inside. I shake them and then I pump them a few times and to see if the paint is running or sometimes it's dripping and then I use a tissue to, to kind of remove the drip. And so this is for my first few strokes, a little paper, very useful. And yeah, this I already said, this is, this is like to put my hand on so I not smear my artworks. And this is just scissors to cut, cut your template and the drum we already spoke about. And here I have my markers organized in these really cute little bamboo boxes, but that's not something you need. I just love it. And you can stack it. Oh, oh this is so lovely. I'm the queen of organization, so I can stack these and I have four of them. Those are just two. And it's so good looking. Like, oh, isn't that lovely? And I, I sort them by colors a little bit. So it's good to not just throw them into a box. So I have gold here, then I have white, black, silver. So those effect colors I have separate, and then I have blues, then I have purples in here, red, orange, uh, yellows, and then greens. And that way I can find the paints better. So I, I organize them and keep them organized. During the painting process, they might <laughs> be on my desk and it might get a bit messy, but I try to keep it clean as clean as possible. So yeah, here, this is everything. And then your drum could look like this <laughs> when it's done. So yeah, I hope this is useful for you. I love seeing my art supplies. It gives me so much joy. It's lovely to have these tools and helpers and always find the best art supplies after years of doing this. It's lovely. So yeah, thanks for watching this. And on my website, I have a list with links where you can buy some of those things. Um, yeah. Hope this was helpful for you. Have a lovely day and see you again soon. Bye-bye.